after England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adeline, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. But Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 4. It's time for the first battle of Lincoln. The first battle. Ominous stuff. We must assault the evil swine that is Stephen. Usurper of the throne, kind of. I mean, it seems like he did it kind of legitimately, but... Still, it was immoral. Matilda should be crowned queen. And she has not been. We will right this wrong. Let's begin. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. If this is enough forces, it is not much of a siege. Walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. Hid. They hid. First, but all right. Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcement from joining with King Stephen's army. Understood. We shall set up an ambush. Perfect. So this is a stealth forest. You can tell by the brambles or knee-high shrubs, what we're calling these things. The weeds. Whilst you're in there, you can't see, unless you are a scout. Scouts, we have three of them here. Have boosted vision range and the ability to see inside stealth forests. Now, if I put my scouts over here, you'll be able to see your regular soldier. He can't see very much in these forests. Very limited vision range. Scouts can see for miles, like it's nothing. No. Is this not the ambush site? Why does it say ambush site over here? Is that a better ambush site? Should I move? Okay, we'll go forest hopping. Wait, wait, do you want me to ambush by ha being on both sides at the same time? That would make sense for an ambush. Alright. How's that? Is that better? 
Select all units to stand ground. Never mind. What does this even do? Units standing ground attack enemies within range, but do not chase unless ordered to attack. Okay. Stand ground, men. Robert's men conceal themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. I'm going to call this weeds, not a grove. Groves make it sound majestic. This is decaying. We'll use hotkeys, like the pros. A squadron of archers leading. What are you shouting about? Why would you shout randomly like this? Good heavens, it's an ambush! I did not need to ambush this force, by the way. Kill it! I don't care... Okay, just attack move. I don't care who you kill. They were trying to specifically target the one in the middle that I clicked on. Which was not my intention. Alright, squad one, back to the bushes. I hope whoever next walks down this road doesn't notice all the bodies. But he knew more were on the way. These guys aren't even fighting. Where are these sneaky chaps coming from? Okay, that's fortunate. They're taking a different path. Means I don't need to move the corpses. Bit the side of my mouth in the middle of saying the word corpses. Stand your ground, men. Stand your ground. They have no idea. Hey, don't shout like that. There we go. I got them all by surprise. Good work. Nice flank, lads. See, fantastic stuff. Oh, I know how to pull off a good ambush. To be fair, it's Stephen's fault for reinforcing with archers with a two spearmen escort. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Barely. We're down to one scout. The team over here are going to be blind. It's okay, we've got some kind of telekinesis going on between our two groups. Wait, that's the wrong word. Telepathy. There you go. Telekinesis is useful in its own right, but not what we're actually using here. Somehow I'm giving the signal to strike to the other team. The team that can't see. Yes, yes, I know. you got to stutter every now and again. It's alright. They saw me! The ambush has failed! Oh, well, at least we get to prove that the ambush is completely unnecessary, I suppose. Well, they're retreating into the forest. It's kind of obnoxious. Someone's going to have to go and ask those chaps to come back. Okay, this hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. And thus, Matilda lost the castle and the throne. It's a sad time in our history. Fortunately, she knew how to rewind time. And upon doing so... She was better prepared. 
Okay, take two. Can we skip this? We can skip this. Good stuff. So we're speed running now. I assume they detected me last time because I was stood too close to the road. Yes, yes, come on. Come along now. It must be terrifying if you're just walking down the road and suddenly this emerges from either side. I understand the fear. I also understand the efficiency. We're going to get to work. Beautiful. Robert defeated the first column of Stephen. Actually, group two, you go over there. You're closer. But he knew more were on the way. It was incredible that I knew exactly his reinforcement lines, what routes he was going to take. Don't know how I have this information. You can argue I've got a couple of scouts, I suppose. That seems a bit much. Stop shouting, lads. I know you're excited, but calm down. Hold, hold. Get him! Probably better if I just put everyone in this bush, to be honest. The run distance here is a bit long. But it's alright. I think I got more soldiers than last time. Somehow I have ambushed better. Still down to one scout, though. Okay, this time, I'm going to go for the long flank. Can't see anything. Okay, I need you over here. Here's a good chap. Just everyone stand ground. Here we go. And relax. Are you a scout? Is that how? No, you're not. I thought maybe they saw me because they were leading with a scout. But that's not the case. Ready, men, ready. Still, probably not the best ambush the ward's ever seen, but it's good enough. Group 2's suffering heavy losses, but Group 1 seems to have this under control. Don't let them flee. People who escape tell tales. People that die do not. Group 2 only has two members. We ain't poised to break anything. Look at the size of this group. Thank the heavens. Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, 
Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. What's the name of this place? Market Town. I've never been to Market Town before. Sounds nice. We do have longbowmen. We do have campfires. Does it only heal longbowmen? Longbowmen around the camp regenerate health. Yes, only longbowmen. Seems a little unfair. We could all enjoy the toasty warmth. Use what you've learnt. They don't teach you these tactics for nothing. When everyone on stand ground. But yes, nicely stood. I thought stand your ground was going to be more like hold your fire, but I was wrong. Whatever, the archers are at the back, I couldn't ask for much more. Again, we could have captured this place, but we chose to burn it down. It's just the way we do things. Ooh, we have incendiary arrows. It's a nice surprise. You are a large group of knights. Satisfying. Kind of sick and twisted of me to enjoy that, isn't it? Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Wait, Welshmen. wait, the Welsh want to help me? This is surprising indeed. But all right, so be it. Not sure why we're struggling to walk across this bridge quite so much. Maybe the horses again tempted by the grass. Curses my Welsh allies. Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the king's soldiers. I'm glad they're in green. It fits them. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh. Okay, I'll view it. Thank you for showing me that. Very helpful. All right, my Welsh allies. I'm. Guys, fall back. I'm not there yet. Fall back. Good lord, what's wrong with you people? Knights, sprint. Don't all huddle on the right. St enough. Get break formation. Run them down. Your knights, their archers, they're no threat to you. The Welsh army is already dead. These my Welsh allies are going to help me out. Did you really expect me to ambush here by going here? As ambitious. Good day, men. Joining forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. Allegedly. Bower is the boot. It is Caesar's 
Before aiding in the siege, Matilda's troops stopped around a campfire whilst they saved their game. I can hurry the longbowmen up, I can push them along with the horses. Come on lads, get in there. No, 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 no waiting. In we go. We'll keep you safe. We hold our lances up to the sky, so the people can see us from afar. We're sneaky like that. Should we use the ambush site? There is nothing to ambush here. We keep moving. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gate. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. Indeed. Are we just going to go? We can't... Oh, yeah, I guess we can kind of ambush from here, but... All right. Uh, Welsh allies. I don't know your names. I could assume your names, but that's probably not above board anymore. I shall call you Welsh allies. Please wait for my signal. We're just going off in a little jaunt through the woods. we tell you when we're there, don't worry. Somehow we'll communicate it to you, we always do. Don't whistle, or shout, these are not stealthy actions. Alright, ready men, ready. Who fired that arrow? Wales, attack! Slowly, don't exert yourself. I don't like this. Springold, I'm never going to remember how to pronounce that. But the knights will burn it down for me. I would say it's HP bar if it wasn't covered by the blockade. How are you doing, Wales? Eh, yeah, not bad. You're a brave man. You're a dead man. Hope there isn't much more to this siege because I barely got anything left alive. Alright. Oh, feel sorry for these guys, they don't even count as part of the blockade. Good news, I have arrived. With the small remnants of an army. And some Welshmen I found. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. What oh, I don't like the sound of this. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. Yeah, I'm ready to don some work. Oh, this isn't going to go well. You can tell. Okay. What do we need to bust out of here? We need men at arms. They're good at taking arrows and they're good at fighting spearmen. The main bulk of the army is countered by men at arms. Also, we have this keep that can also build men at arms. It's a winning combo. Now, where's my gold supply? And where's my wood supply? Please stay to work, Jack. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Where's the gold? Get off of that. No one needs stone. Right, let me find every production structure I can. And technically the market is one, because I can build donkeys, but 
not useful. You've got a lot of production structures. No more upgrades available for the man-at-arms there. What about in the blacksmith? Not enough resources, need more gold for that. All right. Okay, we have the men of arms coming. Do we want anything from the archers? I mean, I can build a couple of longbowmen. They're not going to be the main bulk of the army, but... Men at arms require gold. Which is likely to run out. Whereas longbowmen don't. They only need food and wood. It's quite convenient. I'm just here for this catapult, by the way. I'm going to assume I don't need to develop my economy back here. Sure. I'll send in a holy man. I should probably add you to the control group. You're technically a production structure. It's amazing what the council are willing to do these days. What is this monstrosity? Get out of here. This allows them to... This is the, the mobile ladder I was talking about earlier. Allows them to unload their units straight onto the wall. Scary stuff. If I didn't have archers absolutely everywhere. And a fort filled with archers. Fortunately, I do have all those things. And so we are safe. To fight another day. With no one left to man this thing, they just leave it here and we burn it down. Fantastic. Where's my starting army? Oh, here they are. You've got a monk coming, maybe he'll heal some of you. This wall is not going to go down for a long, long time. There's my monk. Get healing. Let's see just how fast the healing is on this night. Well, that's not very impressive. You guys want to set up a campfire just in case any of you are injured as well. Men. Don't be idiots now. I see. They're going to keep building siege rams and things. To keep me on my toes. Sneaky chaps. Sneaky chaps. Sorry, we're going to hit them with a surprise attack soon. Would like to get some of this, but that requires a lot of gold. You know what? We just have a couple of extra workers on gold. Why are some of these my archers? How did you get up here, men? Why do you beam down to leave in the Enterprise? Alright, men, let's try it. That's a pretty imposing force. And while I'm gone, I want more men at arms. They attack in the battering ram, and as soon as the battering ram falls, they just leg it. It's a disciplined formation I've gone for. We have got flaming arrows, so we do deal some damage to the battering rams. Which you otherwise wouldn't. Okay, all of my infantry are dead. Actually, that's not true. Archers are infantry. All of my men-at-arms are dead. Some nice jiggling to get through that door. That's alright, we made a dent. 
See, look, we did over half. Can't argue with maths like that. Increase the range and melee armor of Melis Arms by three. That sounds pretty good. I feel like I should get that, but I feel like I just need more Melis Arms first. What's the point in upgrading it when I have three? Keep those arrows coming, lads. Where's the monk? Is he gone? Is he done for? Yes, he is. Alright, important upgrades. Where is that damn building? Here we go. Damage of archers. That's a good one. And I want to upgrade my archers to veteran longbowmen. Basically the archers are going to do everything here. It's just the men-at-arms stand at the front to take the shots. I'm English, I rely on the longbow, okay? It's historically accurate. Is it possible for me to wait that catapult out until my upgrades are complete? That one, yes. This one also, yes. Okay, we're waiting it out. Okay, we've lost a roof, that's all. Balance projectiles complete. Where's my upgrade that I care about? Alright, we've got veteran longbowmen, we're in. We probably shouldn't stand underneath the target. Central camp is getting pretty controlled here. Stop everything you're doing and destroy that catapult. It could wipe out a whole squad of archers if it hits me wrong. Not sure why they retreated with it in the first place, but I'm glad they did. Fantastic work, men. We broke centre first. Doesn't make much sense, but... It's what we went for. Now we're going to come back and have a nice heal around the campfire. I have my doubts as to whether that actually happened or not. But they just started camping out. You know what, let's get some camps going. You camp. You camp. And everybody, put the bows down. And relax. Not as relaxing as I'd hoped, but it's getting the job done. Meant to make a camp, ended up making some spikes. Don't relax on those. Not going to have the same effect, I'm afraid. Oh, look who's back.
14 men at arms, is that enough? Unlikely. This is a strange way to get to the fight. But we'll do what we can. In the meantime, we'll just build more. Okay, that is seriously damaging. Get it, men. Burn it down. Fantastic. The archers can probably handle the camp, so long as there isn't... Okay, okay, I better help with that. So long as there isn't a catapult. I want campfires in the middle of battle. You hear me, men. I want everyone relaxing. I want everyone having a good time. If I get wind of anyone not relaxed, there's going to be trouble. You might want to help with that. We're looking a little thin over here. There's nothing in this. It just keeps going back and forth. You can't possibly stop us. We have campfires. Good work, men. It's a bit of a shambles over here, but we're winning. I feel like Matilda could have done all of this without her cousin's help. I can't remember who's helping me. I think it's my cousin. Alright, final camp. What have you got for me? What strength do you hold? Please don't be catapults. Change of plan. We're going to fight this away from the camp. I'm also going to wait until the catapult deploys itself. Spread out, men. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. Do have all of my archers right next to their men at arms, so that's pretty bad, but again, could have been worse. Right, you know what time it is. Well, these attacks are coming thick and fast, aren't they? So you see in these fights, I lose a lot of men-at-arms and I don't lose many longbowmen. And you might be thinking, well that must mean the longbowmen are better, why are you even building the men-at-arms? But the point is, the only reason I'm not losing the archers is because the men-at-arms are sacrificing themselves for the greater good. Their death is a necessary one. Necessary losses we must suffer. We can some good progress on this camp. Kiting remains the best strategy in any game ever. That's not a camp. We need more campfires. That's quite a force that's just hanging about. Alright, men. You need to prove yourself to me. So you just got to find out the point where the enemies 
no longer have any interest in fighting. You just wait here. They run to the edge, they run back. You put arrows in them the whole time. Big fan of the archers. Big, big fan. Not the radio show. Just want to be clear about that. I don't want my street cred going down. It's low enough as it is. Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. No, no, Matilda's men need to retreat. Please wait there while I regroup. He's a good chap. No, no, I'm not ready for you yet. Look, I'm asking politely. It's a hollow victory if you win just because you rushed me. Just ask anyone that plays online. Okay, I am now willing to fight you. Don't really have a good answer for knights, but he doesn't have too many knights. What is this man doing? Well, he's enjoying himself, if nothing else. The siege engines are, of course, my biggest threat. Well, the catapults, not the not the battering rams. I couldn't care less about the battering rams. Now, let me retreat from this battering ram. Camps down, people. Seriously, I don't know how we build these bonfires quite so fast. I'm rather impressed. I wonder how much damage has actually been healed by this setup camp ability throughout the course of this mission. It's going to be a lot by now. You're a brave man, King Stephen, on the front lines, as all of your army just gets slaughtered one by one by this immovable block of archers. I say immovable, they run away as soon as anything happens. Oops. Indefeatable. Let's get some camps. Perfect coverage. King Stephen with 48 damage. The people are getting stronger as the time goes by. It's time to fall. You have been captured with 400 arrows in your back. Finally. So, do we win? Should I move mine with cursor? Should I leave it right in the way? Take that. That was annoying. Is that Matilda? Or is that my cousin? Because he wasn't yellow earlier. He wasn't even on the field. Now that I think about it. Worry not. What matters is that victory was ours. That's going to do it for yet another episode. Next time I'm going to watch the trebuchet fire, which I've actually done in person at Warwick Castle. Good fun. Fun for the family. Highly recommended. But alas, that's it for this video. Hopefully you join me next time and we shall continue through the Age of Empires 4 campaign.